or do so in a sustainable way. The other aspect that I think is quite very, very important is that the monitoring of solutions across the world have not taken central stage. What has actually been out there and is rising is that we do monitor the state of our environment and the monitoring of the solutions that need to match the challenges have not been at par. And so moving forward, we must be able to dictate slow onset events like the wastewater that I mentioned that can actually be coming out of a factory or a manufacturing plant and leaching into our oceans because these are slow onset. We might not be able to dictate it until it's already gotten into a point that is destroying our biodiversity. The last aspect is finance. Like I mentioned, 50% of the entire global gross domestic product comes from nature but it's done in an unsustainable way. But there needs to be incentives to then be able to drive sustainable approaches of nature-based action. Yeah, what's your take on this, uh, Mr. Duty? I'd like to go back a little step. Uh, one of the things that I, I've become, come to understand is that we have on the world a lot of irrelevant people. They're irrelevant because they cannot produce anything. They're irrelevant because they cannot buy anything. So when you, you look at the, these people, you say, they really have no value. They, no, this, they, that they have a soul, that they have a heart, that they have a body, that they, they have desires, that they have intelligence, don't count. They're irrelevant because they are not participating in my market economy. They don't add anything to my market economy. They, so that, I think, is a major problem that we have to find a way out of, a, a major, major solution. The Global South, very quickly, Professor Liu, what's your take? Mm, I, I think, you know, uh, we should uh, uh, share the kind of, you know, good practices, uh, uh, I mean, uh, at a uh, I mean, regular basis so that you know, all the people will be geared toward the same direction. Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for your input. And that's it for the special program, focusing on the sixth UN Environment Assembly, One World Under One Sky.